Hey guys, Ron and Nate for Function Build Aquatics. What's up guys? I got my dude on this video. We're talking about our little breeding project for mountain minnows. Now, our original group of mountain minnows is approaching two, two and a half years. And I started noticing that some of the larger males and females are okay. starting to look a little weak. And we lost a few. So we thought it was a good time to maybe pull some guys out, put them in a smaller tank, and, breed and, them. and I'm going to let Nate take over from here. Now, the reason why we're going to do this is because we need some fry to so they can grow out, get big, and we can put them back in the small, in the, in the paludarium. And how we're going to do this is we're going to put two females in the tank with one male. And once they breed, you're going to, they're going to lay their eggs, the male's going to fertilize them, and then the eggs are going to start hatching. Now we use java moss, as you could tell, to maybe basically collect the eggs as they drop. I like to put leaves in all my setups to make the tank look a little bit more natural and then maybe also add something that the fry can feed from. This tank is a two and a half gallon tank running with a small air driven sponge filter. Once the eggs are dropped and we start noticing, as they call them, rig wigglers, once the fry are considered wigglers, we're going to remove these guys and let the fry grow up in the two and a half gallon tank. The process should hope, hopefully yield a nice group of juvenile mountain minnows that we can replenish our Chinese mountain stream set up with and further along the colony. So this is this is actually better than you think because we need this because our fish are dropping in low populations yep and a lot of it's due to age so if you haven't already subscribed please do so and if you like what we're doing give us a thumbs up guys bye guys see you